Good morning. It's 5.30 a.m. Central Time in Tennessee. And I'm testing out today to see if I can fully charge my Blue Eddy EB240 with these two Bouge 170 watt panels hooked in series. Uh, I'm down to one bar. And we're waiting for the sun to come up. So right now, zero charging going on, clearly. Sun comes up right there. You can see it coming up. So let's uh, do a test on this. I've got about five hours of usable sunshine back here. We're at an angle that's about 20 degrees off from center. Here's center. And horizontally, it's about 20 degrees off of these panels. To get your perspective, that's straight back. So there, the sun's going to go up just like that with that big bar in the way. But I'll see what I can get. I'm trying to charge the Blue Eddy to full by 11 a.m. when the sun gets to the roof and disappears. So I'll keep you posted when this thing starts charging and see what we get. Okay, here comes the sun. It just showed its face over the tree line. And we've got 29 watts so far. So that's a good start. I'll take it. This is actually the only place I'll be able to get sunlight uh, when I'm docked. Uh, with my other bank of panels that I have on the front of the boat, they won't get anything. So this is where my two other primary panels are going to be for uh, uh, import. And during the winter, if I sit here all winter, so I'm going to see if I can charge from one bar, or almost less than one bar, up to full within the next five hours before the sun goes away. So let's uh, continue to watch this and see what she does. I wanted to show you how I connected these solar panels to the rails. It's a pretty simple and light solution. Uh, basically, with Velcro on top, I used these half cable clamps and bent the, uh, the tab under and screwed it in with a screw, uh, a bolt, and uh, a nut back there. So we got a big washer holding this Velcro in underneath the uh, underneath the clamp. So now that clamp basically gravity holds holds the panel down because it holds it that way. <laughs> and then as a secondary securing mechanism, the Velcro over top of that just kind of keeps it in place. So I've got two of those with the with the, uh, clamps, and I've got one just piece of Velcro in the middle for a kind of a backup. On this tall panel, I did the same thing. I just have two instead, though, so those should hold. Now I can move these around easily. Under the Velcro, take the, take the panel, lift it up, just slide it onto the rails back there, or back there, or right there on the side, or on that side, or alongside down there. So wherever I have sunlight, I can move these two panels around the entire boat along with having a permanent bank up front that does not move. Okay, it's now 6 a.m. Let's see where we're at here. She's up to 85 watts. Still got one bar. Going for two. So 88, 90 watts I've seen here. That's good. So for basically indirect sunlight, just coming up, we're getting something coming in. I'm happy about that. Let's see if we can get it up to full charge by 11 a.m. or so. Okay, it's 6.30. We are at 201 watts. And we've got two bars going. Come on, three, come on, three. Okay, charging status update. 7 a.m. And we are charging at 234 watts. 
charges up to still, let's see, still two bars. So, we'll keep going. Okay, 7.30 a.m. Let's see what we got. We're charging at 257 watts, 58. And we're still at two bars. Come on, three. Hey, we're at 8 a.m. Sun's right up there. Charging at 254 watts. And we're up to still to two bars only. Gosh, it's amazing today. Beautiful. Nice breeze. Great sun. Let's see where the panels are at. two bars okay it's 9 a.m. let's take a check 258 watts come on 257 and we're at two bars still slower than I hope but uh, I'm not too disappointed it's it's still charging so Okay, at 9.30 a.m. We are at 247 watts. Can you see that? Yep, 48. And still at two bars. Okay, it's 10 a.m. Sun's almost st straight overhead. <coughs> Excuse me, we're about to lose it and there is some cloud so these panels have been going down to about 40 watts charge under the clouds. Let's look at where it's at now. I do know that we've got an, another bar, so it's the beginning of the next bar. 200 watts. And three bars. Okay, it's 10.30 a.m. The clouds are kind of giving me a, a hard time here, so we're down to about 45 watts of charging. Which, considering the cloud cover, still isn't bad, but... So, 48 watts. We're up to three bars. Not bad for half a day. If I was sitting out here all day or out on the lake, it would charge up with no problem. Just take me a few more hours, but... Anyway, I'm gonna conclude this in another half an hour. Two Bouge 170 watt panels. Kind of a half-ass sun angle from sunrise to the top of the deck there got about five hours it's still charging but it's down to about 40 watts i think let's see go look 55 watts 56 and we're still at three bars so this thing charged about a third of the way in five hours in not great conditions I'm okay with that because if these, these are just sitting out here all day, day after day, I'll just keep recharging and I'll, at some point I'll be charging through so I'm not sure what the deficit will be at that point. For right now, just a basic test to show everybody that uh, this thing can work. Okay, day two, 6 a.m. Let's take a reading. That's 70 watts, three bars. Trying to get to full by 11 a.m. Okay, it's 6.30 a.m. We're at 98 watts. Still three bars. Okay, 7 a.m. Let's see what she reads. Turn 11 at three bars. There's your reading. Okay, it's 7.30. Let's 
Let's see where these panels are doing. 120. 1920 at three bars. Okay, it's eight o'clock a.m. Let's see where we're at. 127. Can't see it. And we're at three bars still. Okay, it's 8.30 a.m. I think I had something hooked up wrong. So um, I was getting about 120 watts and it was really too low for this time of day. So now we're up to 165. Still at three bars, probably because I didn't have it hooked up right. So now it should have been about four bars, but I'm gonna keep going with this test. Um, I know it's a bit skewed because of that, but we'll uh, just keep doing it and uh, keep taking these readings till 11 a.m. So it's 9 a.m. and I've connected these up in parallel because they're giving me a better reading. 171 watts. In series, they're 160. I'm not sure if there's a problem with one of the panels, but um, there might be. They both read pretty good when I separated them, but uh, I'll have to do some more research. But anyway, that's my status. Three bars, 170 watts. Okay, I'm going to conclude this test. I'm not done yet with it, but I think by 11 a.m. I'll have five bars. I'm at four right now. I took the 100 watt Renergy panel down uh, and put the 170 bouge back up. So both of these panels are... Uh, giving us about 300 watts right now out of 340, which is pretty good Of course the beach balls help tilt the panels up towards the Sun a little better since it's it's like 10 a.m. Um, so basically My point of, of this video is to watch from my mistakes learn from them and don't make the ones that I made um, Always double check things over panel. That's kind of a, a theme lately and um, I hope your solar endeavor goes well and you collect plenty of sun's energy.